<clears throat> What's up, people? Secretary Funk Van coming at y'all back on deck. Hey, uh, just wanted to do um, kind of a recent finds, also uh, a video of what I'm listening to currently. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of psych music, as people probably on Facebook on the Vinyl Community Facebook um, page would see. Um, psych in all elements, psych funk, psych psych, psych folk. All of that stuff um, I'm kind of heavy on right now, but <clears throat> I, uh, I uh, after that receiving that package from Chris Basket, um, just kind of threw me right back into the whole jazz kind of thing. When he sent me that Mrs. Beastly LP, um, man, that just got me on all the obscure type mixed genre jazz like that is is german like funk jazz kraut rock almost or a, a sub genre of kraut rock more on the jazz side so that's kind of what i've been aiming for so i bought this reissue a couple of weeks ago and it arrived i think last week um and so this is what i've been listening to bjt the Baroque Jazz Trio, I think this came out in 1970 or 1971. The original is very expensive, like, man, like six, seven hundred dollars almost. And so, well, let me get the focus. And sorry for the mess, also, you guys know I'm still doing my kitchen done, but uh, three gentlemen, harpsichord, cello, and drummer. And this right here is, is just some intense music. Um, they didn't really know where to stand as far as what they were going to label their music. So they called it the Baroque Jazz Trill. And this right here is, 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 is very, very uh, uh, intense. The harpsichord seems to be out in the forefront of the music. And of course, I'll do a needle drop. God, look at that. Two minutes and already a needle drop. So uh, let me see the first one, if I could get cue it up right. I don't want it to be too loud want the sound to come out just right and there's Hammond I don't know if you guys can see him um, let's see it's or I can tell it's gonna be too loud let me turn it down Now play one more off of this uh, for you guys. <coughs> See if I can <coughs> find it. Because these these songs kind of take a while to get going. So I gotta do like a real needle drop and find where you know it takes off. Let's see. There we go. It, they just mix so many different styles and cultures of music into one thing. Very hot support heavy. Really nice. So that's that. Watch out, man. Just move. Here's no right. 
right place to stop the needle drop with this record, for real. So that's the Baroque Jazz Trio. Um, this is a reissue on, uh, da, 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 I don't know. I don't know, but this is what the label looks like. I see it's kind of dusty. It's really dusty in this room. Get out of here, Hammond, before I spray you. Ooh, did you see that? He doesn't like that. Okay, all right. Hammond does not like air being blasted in his face. One time I accidentally got it in his ear, I felt really bad. I know the ears are really sensitive. But we have fun, don't we, Ham? Next one is Compost. This is a... Uh, a jazz uh, effort put together by Jack DeJanet, the drummer. Uh, who else is on here that we would know? Maybe nobody else, but uh, there's, you know, one, two, three, four, five of them. Like I said, uh, kind of a, I don't know if I would say it was a failed effort by Jack DeJanet. I can't say that, but... It didn't really get popular. It was it's not it's not a popular LP compost. And I know they have another one. Uh, I know this is not their only one that they have, but this is really funky. This is funk jazz. This is jazz jazz. It has a little bit of everything. Not really sure what I want to play y'all as far as a needle drop, but let's just see. Random needle drop. <laughs> Random needle drops. You definitely hear the fog influence. I see what it sounds like when you come out of this. I mean, I wish you guys were here so you could hear that the the horns are coming out out of one channel, out of one speaker, and then that uh, uh, the organ and the uh, guitar that is coming out of another one. It just sounds dope as hell, man, because the sound is fluctuating and just come. It's really funky, really funky. I picked this one up this weekend when I went out. Man, I could not believe I had to drop. 30 bucks for this bad boy, but I knew exactly what it was when I got it. This is some uh, Italian uh, funk, jazz, and, excuse me, and psych. This right here, the Duke of Burlington, and I got it on, this has been issued on several labels, the Joker, um, to name one, but this is a Vogue. This is the release that's on Vogue. I just could not believe, you know, uh, when my guy at the record store bought this out of the bag. Oh, I got something for you. All right, let's see it. And it was that one. And this right here, man, on Vogue Records, the Duke of Burlington. I took my autofocus off, so you're not going to see it that well. I can put the autofocus back on. Let's see. Let's see what we get. It is a monster. This is a German press. And I'll just, 
I'll, I'll do a couple needle drops and let you guys know what this is talking about. Check this out. It's This is just crazy. <laughs> Hear that guitar? Is that fuzzy? Well, it's not fuzzy, but it's psyched out a little bit. Uh, next track. Almost sound like some Jack McDuff stuff that you would hear. From his funky years. Next one. You have a song called LSD on him. The whole LP. I could, say, I could drop it on every every track on here. On. Stop these needle drops, man. It's, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this LP right here is a heavy hitter. I got it for a still. He gave me a really good deal on that one. I really, really wanted it. Um, let's see where we at. 12 minutes. We're making a good time. What I have? I have a few more. I'm not going to do a needle drop on this one, but I've had this for a while. I was listening to it. And, you know, to be honest with you, I figured, I just realized that I could do without this LP. I'm not too crazy about it. Um, this is Bel Air. Relax, you're soaking in it. This is a private press. Is this Canadian? No. I don't know why. What's telling me that this was a Canadian uh, jazz? But it's not. It seems like it's out of California. Sam. I, I don't remember the history on this LP, but uh, there is one really good song with some nice spanish guitar type influence on it um what's the name of the damn song man i can't remember i i don't i don't remember i don't remember maybe i should have uh done my needle drops before i did the video but this 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 lp check this lp out i'm pretty sure if you google this lp the one song that's worth a damn of listening to is probably the one you will find if you google or youtube it um it, it's solid but you know I think somebody else would like it better than I would. Now, here is a grill of mine that took me a while to track down. This is uh, Confluence Four Voyages, and this is on RCA. Yeah, I've been looking for that bad boy for a long time. This probably has one of the longest, most intense drum breaks. Not drum breaks as in what B-Boys like. Well, one of the drum breaks says, and everybody takes a break and gives the drummer song. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I kind of know where it is. Let's see. <laughs> This is just fucking crazy. This is French, I believe. French jazz, uh, pretty sure. But I remember hearing, seeing this on a blog a couple of years back, and I had to have it. Some kind of, um, sort of improvised, more avant-garde than anything. Just really, really dope shit, man. 
This is a serious, serious LP. Really, really, really good jazz LP. One of my favorite, my collection. Let me see if I can find it. I must have been near the end of that drum break, but because it was very long. Let me see if I can find. Let you guys know what it what it sounds like. Almost sounds tribal. This is not a good needle drop for this one. This is maybe one of these LPs that you kind of, it definitely flows. It's live recording as well, so it kind of just flows all together, but this right here is a serious, serious piece of avant-garde music that you could get on vinyl. It's Confluence, The Four Voyages. It's, it's very tribal sounding. Just really, really dope. You guys lost their minds during this session. Just one more look at it. So check that out. Uh, Natural Essence. This is actually pretty special. This was released on Fantasy Records, 1973. Natural Essence is a group comprised of Nat Adderley Jr., right there, Can Cannibal Adderley's uh, nephew, Nat Adderley, Cannibal Adderley's brother, Nat Adderley's son. And this is this is really nice, man. This was arranged uh, by Cannonball Adderley. Some of the songs were written by Nat Adderley, and it was also co-produced by David Axelrod. Um, some of the songs on here are kind of R&B-ish. Kind of. I use that lightly, but uh, the rest of the songs definitely have the jazz influence in it. They have a chick on here singing. What's her name? Yvonne Fletcher sings vocals on it. I'll just do a random needle drop. Now you people in your fancy stores They cross many people It's a nice outfit You find it hard to believe But it's true just the same See if I can find one of their jazzy Nice. One more random needle drop. Nat Adelaide's son is playing the piano on this. Really nice. Definitely a diamond in the rough on the fantasy label. Uh, because to be honest with you, a lot of stuff that was released on fantasy records was kind of cheesy to me when it came to jazz. You found a lot of... Uh, you found a lot of jazz musicians that were once, or still, but were masters of their instruments and once in that bebop, post-bop <clears throat> time when, you know, when they were popular, ended up on labels like Fantasy, CTI, and especially CTI, CTI like Stanley Turretine, 
um, those guys. And, you know, to me, a lot of that stuff is just not worth a damn. But you do have things that are far and few between that that, that, that are pretty good. Last thing I'll show is the uh, Nia Cherry LP with the thing. The cherry thing. This is dope. This is jazz. Well, give you the idea. The thing, everybody knows the thing. The Swedish uh, jazz band led or comprised of Matt's, uh, how do you say this? Gustafsson? Gustafsson? Gustafsson. Gustafsson. Fuck it. You guys know I don't know how to pronounce names. But uh, this is really, really dope. Uh, and if you guys, old school hip hop people, remember uh, Nia Cherry back in the day with the song Buffalo Stance. And yes, I'm um, not sure if you know, this is Don Cherry's niece, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, Don Cherry's niece. Um, definitely turning a new leaf on this one. She's doing her thing with the thing. Kind of uh, artsy. RT vocals over, you know, that wild avant-garde jazz. So let me let you hear just a quick, quick, uh, God, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. It's different. Definitely different. <laughs> This song picks up, so I'll fast forward it. And as you guys could imagine, it just gets chaotic. Very avant-garde. So, but nobody knows the name. You look so different over the phone. Sounds so way the duet is. You know what this reminds me of? If Betty Davis ever got her shit together. I'm sorry, as you guys don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Betty Davis, but. If she was ever to like venture out and maybe perfected whatever she was trying to set out to do, and she ended up doing a heavily influenced jazz LP with the type of vocals that she does, this would have been it. Near Cherry, really dope stuff. All right, guys, this is long enough. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Shout out to, oh, no, 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 I got to do some shout outs, man. Shout out to uh, Netmaker, my man. Uh, I gotta put his uh, link in. Um, I gotta put his link. Uh, shit, hold on. I'm trying to do two things at once. I gotta put his the link to his channel. This guy makes some very very mellow, dope beats, y'all. Um, I really want you to check him out because it's just not you know you you guys. So many people talk about oh yeah, I make beats. I make beats. And you go and listen to them, and they're really not that good. You know what I mean? And But this guy, if anybody has gone on to check out that Hawthorne's Headhunter, this guy named Netmaker, man, he has some beats for that ass. Like some ones that I I, I was just, man, you got to send these to somebody. Um, dope stuff. I'll put the links in the uh in the in the uh, uh, uh in the comment section. There's a couple of other people that I wanted to you know, give a shout out to, but I can't remember their names, you know, like, I'm bad with, with, with screen names, I don't want to leave anybody out, man, and now, like, I'm drawing a blank as far as, let me see, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll do it next time.
All right, guys, take it easy. Um. Okay, I I uh, reviewed the the video that I'm about to upload. Um, and I said I was not gonna upload this without uh, giving my man a shout out, man, because he you know he's showing some amazing stuff. I just had it up on my screen, y'all. <laughs> uh, let me see if S O T D eighty six. His name is Joe. I'm gonna put his the link to his channel in this in the in in uh, my description. Uh, man, Joe's Joe is Joe's representing big time, y'all. Uh, I think he's fairly new to the VC, but like I said, he's representing fucking big time, especially with the jazz pieces that he's pulling out. Uh, uh, people like Robin Boston, which Robin Boston is already a subscriber of him, but I'm just saying, you know, anybody who's trying to familiarize yourself with you know, good pieces of jazz to start out with and just good pieces of jazz in general, man. You guys got to check out Joe's channel. His his uh, YouTube name is SOTD86, I believe. Amazing, amazing stuff. Please, you guys, go and subscribe to him. Also, uh, subscribe to my other uh, boy, my other guy on YouTube, Netmaker. Netmaker is making some amazing. I I, I hate to say beats because beats seem so dumbed down um, compared to what he's actually producing, or you know, but uh, more like compositions, real just gazy, relaxed, mellow music. Uh, I'm really feeling it, really feeling it. And like I said before, anybody that is trying to get onto the uh, looked at the Hawthorne Headhunters um, and liked that music, that sound. It's almost also, Teacher just uploaded a video, Dame Funk. To me, the two links that I'm going to put that Netmaker made, if you ask me, it blows Dame Funk's anything that Dame Funk makes out of the water. Maybe except for Mirrors. Mirrors is, is up there, but his music is up there right with Dame Funk's. Man, I mean... So check it out, you guys. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to these two guys, man. They could use the subscribers. You know, we're all one community. So, you know, we're just doing my part. Um, two fellas that's reached out to me and that I've run across as well on uh, YouTube that I, I really appreciate and like that they're here and they're contributing in a big way are those two. So check out the description and subscribe to them because they're cool, man. Joe... And my man, Netmaker. So that's my shout-out. I wanted to do it right. So there we go. All right, y'all. Take it easy.